Hey guys, it's Shadow the Rat, and for today's Forging Friday, I will be going over five of my favorite forging toys for the rat cage. Now, I've had this requested a few times, and I decided that I wanted to make this into two videos. Uh, initially, I was just going to do one on my top 10 favorite toys, but I realized that I have a pretty big distinction between the toys I use inside the cage versus outside the cage. So in this video, I'm going to talk about my favorite forging toys for inside the cage, and in the next one, I will talk about my favorite forging toys for outside the cage. Now to get started with number five, we have a PVC foraging toy. This foraging toy is really cool because it has a lot of good things going for it. For one thing, it's fairly small, so you can put it pretty much anywhere in the cage. And in terms of use, it's also very easy for the rats to learn to use. All they have to do is learn to push up the lid on either side, and then they have access to the food inside. Now my favorite thing about this toy is probably the fact that once the rat leaves and they are no longer propping up the lid, then it will swing back into place, and so the next time they go to get some more food, they will again have to push up the lid. So it's not like some other foraging toys where once they use it once, once they open the drawer, or once they maneuver the lid, then they won't have to do that again and they'll just have free access to the treats. Uh, no, in this case they actually have to keep interacting with the toy, which I think is a big benefit. Another nice thing about this toy is just the fact that it's very easy to clean and very easy to refill. So overall I think it's a very good toy and it's a great thing for any rat cage. Now number four on my list is the treat hanging ball, which is basically just a hanging ball that has some slits in it, and you can put some food inside it, and then your rat has to get to the food through the slits. Now I have three different versions of this, including a mouse version and a treasure chest version, but I do tend to use the original ball shape the most. In my case, the two halves are connected with magnets, so it's very easy to pry it apart. Uh, I've also seen some that screw together and those also work just as well. And so it's very easy to open it up, put some treats inside, close it, and then just hang it in the cage. Now the main thing I like about this is that if you have fresh food or just larger treats that you don't want your rat to just go off and stash, or you want them to actually share as a group, then by putting the treat inside the hanging ball, they're kind of forced to stick around and just take small bites out of it. So it encourages them to actually eat the food where they are, and it also kind of slows down the process, which is nice. So number three is the snack rack, which is basically a foraging toy where the rats have to align a plastic ring. Uh, so you have a plastic ring that has a little indent in it, and then you have a plastic piece in the middle where the food is, and this plastic piece has a little tab that needs to align with the indent in the ring. So your rat has to figure out how to line these up by rotating the ring. And so this is a little bit of a challenge. They can't see how to align them. They have to kind of just feel for it. So it definitely takes a little bit more trial and error and it really forces the rats to think through the process. So this is a great toy for advanced foraging rats. And if your rats aren't so advanced with it, it might be a little bit difficult for them, but it's still a really fun challenge. And my rats have really enjoyed this. So I think this is just a really great foraging toy to challenge your rats and really force them to think a little bit more than most foraging toys would. Now the next foraging toy on our list is the food tumbler. Now the food tumbler is a really cool foraging toy that's basically a little plastic container with food in it that has a long skinny hollow tube coming out with a little hole in it and the rats can access the food from inside the container through the little hole in the tube. So they need to rotate the container in order to get the food to fall into the tube. So it's just a really fun toy for them. And once the rats figure it out, they become huge fans of rotating it back and forth, uh, especially if you put some treats in there along with their regular food. But anyways, they really enjoy this toy and it's a great way to give lab locks like Oxbow in particular because they fit very well and they encourage your rats to work a little bit more to get to their food. And now for our final forging toy on this list, that is the forging wheel. So the forging wheel is something that you might already have. I mean, it's probably the most popular rat forging toy out there. Uh, it is a toy made for birds, but so are most of the forging toys I listed. I mean, <laughs> bird forging toys are just better than rodent ones, okay? But anyways, the forging wheel is really awesome because it's just so versatile. Uh, to use it, your rats just have to use their hands to push this top plate, which has two little holes in it, across the wheel. And by doing so, they move the little holes to different compartments so they can get to different foods. And the nice thing about this is you can put so many different things into the compartments. I mean, I have put crinkled paper, I put nesting materials like tissues, I put Oxbow, which is the rat's main lab block, I put treats, just all sorts of stuff can fit in there. And the rats absolutely love pulling stuff out. And this foraging toy is really good for rats that are both inexperienced and experienced. 
Uh, for more inexperienced rats, you can just fill up every single one of the compartments, and this encourages them very quickly to figure out how to spin the wheel in order to get to different compartments. And as they get more experienced, you can start to put some tissue paper or some tissues or some crinkled paper in there. And this makes it a little bit more challenging because they now have to pull out the other stuff as well. And yeah, this is pretty much just a great example of one of those ideal forging toys like the food tumbler, except this one's even a little bit better just because there are some so many ways to use it. So yeah, this is my ultimate favorite foraging toy for the cage. Uh, I suspect a lot of you also have this as your favorite foraging toy because again, it is a very popular one in rat groups. Anyways, that's all five foraging toys, but I do want to go over a special mention one because I just couldn't help myself. It was so hard to choose five of these. So my special mention foraging toy is the JW Pet Company Tip and Treat toy. It's a lot like the food tumbler toy, except it's a lot smaller and it has a smaller spout uh, where the food can come out. And unfortunately, this is the main downside. I absolutely love this toy and I wish it worked perfectly, but since its downside is that the spout is so small, you can only put smaller treats in it, otherwise your rats won't be able to get them out. So yeah, that's the main downside to that toy. It's still worth getting if you think it's cute and if you think your rats will use it. I mean, my rats have all really loved it, but unfortunately, you will have to be more selective about what treats you put inside it. Okay guys, so that's all the forging toys I'm going to go over today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you tune in for the second part, which should be coming soon. Bye!